these problems are about something called unit price. And unit price is actually something that comes in handy to know about when you're in the grocery store. You might see on the shelf, um, you know, a smaller jug of, of uh, orange juice and a bigger jug of orange juice, and you're not sure which one is the better deal. Some people say it's always the bigger jug, but it's not always the bigger jug. Sometimes it is. What you might notice if you look more closely at the shelves in your grocery store is that they might have a little sticker or something right below the price on the, on the shelf where it shows you a unit price. It might say the big jug is $0.32 per ounce and the little jug is $0.35 per ounce. If that was the case, then the bigger jug is a better deal uh, because it's less per ounce. So they take some unit that they can compare and, and, and like an ounce and then they give you the price of that. These problems here have to do with, with figuring out the unit cost, that kind of um, price by which you could compare things. Let's take a look at these. The first one says, Andrew spent $2.87 at the stationery store. If he bought seven pens, how much did each pen cost? So the unit here is pens, and we're trying to figure out how much per pen. Well, per, that's another word for divide. So we take the 287 and we divide it by seven, and then we're going to get the cost of a single pen. I'm going to just use my calculator for that. 287 divided by seven is 41 cents. So 41 cents per pen. And that's our unit cost. All right, let's look at the next one. It says a single serving carton of yogurt costs 81 cents. A case of 12 single serving cartons costs $9.12. How much is saved per carton by buying the yogurt by case? So is it worth it to buy the whole case rather than buy a bunch of single servings? That's what we're trying to figure out here. What we want to do is figure out the unit cost of each, whether you buy it singly or whether you buy it in the case. The unit cost of the first one is already figured out. It's a single serving carton is 81 cents. The pack of 12, we need to figure that out and we'll do that by taking this number and dividing it by 12 and then we'll get what the cost is of one of those in there. One thing to remember here is that um, sometimes you're shifting between dollars and cents so not to get confused with that uh, but let's let's try this first let's do the dividing by 12 so 9.12 divided by 12 and you get 0.76 dollars so that is 76 cents so you're saving uh, quite a bit. It looks like five cents on every um, carton of yogurt. So how much is saved per carton? Okay, that's what they were asking. So it's the difference between the 81 and the 76. So the answer there would be five cents per carton. All right, one more. This one says brand X costs five dollars and four cents for 14 ounces. Brand Y costs one cent more per ounce. What is the cost of 10 ounces of brand Y? All right, let's just um, figure out what they're asking here. We've got the cost of brand X for 14 ounces. Brand Y costs one cent more per ounce. What we need to figure out here is what is the cost of brand X per ounce first? And then we'll raise that by one cent to get the cost of brand Y and, uh, per ounce. And once we do that, then we can figure out what 10 ounces cost. So there's really three parts of this problem. Let's start by figuring out the per ounce cost of brand X. 504 for 14 ounces, so we have to take 504 and divide it by 14. So 5.04 divided by 14, and I get 0.36 dollars, so 36 cents. Now it says brand at Y costs one cent more per ounce, so, so this is X. Y is 37 cents per ounce the cost of 10 ounces of brand Y. Well, we would take that 37 cents and multiply it by 10. And actually, I'm going to put it back in dollars, so 0.37 dollars. When you multiply this by 10, you can try this on your calculator. You just move the decimal point one place to the right. So it's $3.70. Those are some problems about unit cost.